full unboxing. Haven't done an unboxing in a hot minute. So I got the Candy Johnson Beautycon box in the mail. I asked you guys on Snapchat if you wanted to see an unboxing. So here we are today. Can we just talk about this box? I love this black and white print. I own like way too many t-shirts with this print. So before we open this guy up, I did just film a one brand tutorial using all e.l.f. products on the look I'm wearing right now. Pretty sure that will be up before this, so I'm gonna link that down below in the description box. I like don't wanna cut into this, it looks so pretty. Got the gold scissors. I feel like these don't even qualify as scissors. It's like a straight up knife. These are so sharp. Okay, I am super excited about this because if I say this, I've never had a Beautycon box before. Oh, I think I just cut the wrong part. I have box issues. So it's pretty sweet because you can either subscribe annually where you get four boxes a year for a hundred bucks, so 25 bucks a box, or you can do a one-time thing for $29. And there's over $100 worth of products in here. This one, the Candy Johnson one, actually has over $150 worth of products. I'm definitely keeping this box. So here's what the inside looks like. Nice peachy, like neon peach kind of color. And when you take it out, you say candy. Whoa, this is actually a pretty sick photo or drawing, whatever. So it has a list of all the products on here on the back. I'm not going to look at that yet because I kind of want to... Be a surprise, keep you guys on your toes. Again, super cute packaging. Ooh, heck yeah. Okay, I already see some super exciting stuff. It's not like individually wrapped, so I can kind of already see everything. Also, if you're interested in trying out this box yourself, I do have a $5 off coupon code for you guys. I will put it right here. Also, the link will be in the description box with the code. Like always, everything you wanna know is down below. Okay, I actually just saw a commercial for this on TV last night. This is the Garnier Skin Active Clearly Brighter Brightening and Smoothing Daily Moisturizer. And also, by the way, this isn't just like random shit. This is Candy Johnson's favorite stuff. So this is a brightening and smoothing daily moisturizer. It has SPF 15 in it, and looking on the back, it says that it has vitamin C and E pine bark essence. Okay, I like the bottle. The, blog, the bottle looks really nice and kind of like sleek. I just want to smell this, so I'm trying to do in life. Oh, it smells like, it smells like something else. It smells very fresh, and I like how it has SPF 15, so you could apply this underneath your makeup. I will definitely be giving this a try. Does this card have prices on it? Okay, the card doesn't have prices on it, so I'm not actually sure how much each of these things are. Oh, heck yeah. Looks like this is like a deluxe size of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. I actually have this sitting in my drawer, but I haven't tried it yet. I love 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 the normal Too Faced Better Than Sex. That's my holy grail mascara. I use it every single day, but look at this packaging. It's not pretty. Next, this is kind of ironic because I've literally been trying to use this up for like the last year. <laughs> this is actually in my bathroom right now. I actually really like this stuff. I just, I have like 5 billion oils, so I'm trying to use it up, but this is the Neutrogena Ultra Light Cleansing Oil. When I'm not super lazy at night, I like to go in with a cleansing oil versus like a wipe. I usually use this after I film when I have like a ton of makeup on my face. It literally takes off everything. You put this on dry skin, rub it in, you can use this on your eyes, it doesn't burn my eyes at all and I have super sensitive eyes. If you're using a cleansing oil, you definitely still want to go in with a face wash after so that oil isn't like still in your pores or anything. But I love this, it's a very lightweight oil, like you can see it kind of moving, it looks like water in there. Whoa, sounds like there's like a bead in here. This is the Redken Fashion Waves 07 Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. Hell yeah, super excited to try this. I haven't tried a whole lot of Redken products. I do like their pink line, like the diamond oil. Basically it's supposed to give your hair that wavy, beachy, just got out of the water, not really trying kind of look. And this is a huge bottle, like this will last you forever. Okay, next up we have this Smashbox Brow Tech in the shade Taupe. It will actually probably match when I finally go silver with my real hair. See, I've never heard anything about this. Has little beads in it. it. Looks like a liquid eyeliner tube, but it's not. It is a brow product, folks. Oh, it's interesting. It looks kind of powdery on there. It's pretty much like a powder, but on a gel eyeliner brush. The tone looks a little bit too red for me. What is this? All I see is blemish clearing, and I want it in my life. So this is the Benzac Acne Solutions Blemish Clearing Hydrator, and it says it has East Indian Sandalwood Oil. It has 0.5% salicylic acid, my skin loves salicylic acid. I don't react that well to benzyl peroxide, so I'm glad this is salicylic acid. Lightweight formula controls excess oil, hydrates the skin. Yeah, so this is like basically the last step in your skincare routine, and I'll probably be using this at night. I don't usually like to use acne products underneath my makeup, so definitely gonna give this a go because we all know I need some help in the acne department. So then we have a Cover Effects brush. I haven't tried any of Cover Effects 
his brushes. Looks like this is one end foundation, one end concealer, I'm guessing. I don't usually apply foundation with these kind of brushes because I like a bigger like buffing brush, but I could totally apply a face mask with this probably. And this looks like it could be a nice concealer brush for like carving out your brows or just blemish concealing. Okay, next up we have this NYX Ombre Lip Duo. Is it ombre or ombre? I think it's ombre. So basically this is supposed to let you easily create an ombre lip when you have like darker on the outside and then it kind of fades into a lighter shade. Okay, first off, it's retractable. Second, it has this fine point. It's basically like a liner so you could actually like get in the lines of your lips. What a concept. Then there's this lighter orangey shade. Ooh, I'm totally going to do a look using this. I don't think I've done an orange lip look before. Okay, a few things left in here. I think one actual product and then there's some like sample size things. This is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Cashmere. This is like a super pretty gold shade. I love the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. The one in Milk is great for your waterline. It's like a pure white pencil. You can use these for so many different things. You can use it as a base for your eyeshadow. You could use it just as eyeshadow alone. You put it on your waterline. These are super affordable, awesome. Love the next Jumbo Eye Pencils. Samples, these are the LA Fresh Instant Cooling Body Soother. Oh, these are basically like wet wipes for your body, an oil-free face cleanser. Keep those in the purse. They give you a card to get 15% off and free shipping on the Edit by Seventeen, which I'm guessing is a new fashion site. This is the VersaSpot Face Moisturizing Gradual Tanner. All right, that was everything in the box. I feel like for 29 bucks, that is a super good deal. I will leave a link to the BeautyCon box down below, and you can also use code SUMMERPEACELOVE. That is like the happiest discount code ever to get $5 off. If you guys like this video and you want more unboxings, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.